Hey guys, so I'm Lori Van, the principal at Cherokee Ridge, and I just wanted to talk to you for a couple of minutes. We're going to be sharing with you a series of videos in the next few days to let you know all of the great things that are in store for you and your child this year at Cherokee Ridge. Yes, we know there's a lot of changes going on and it can be a scary time, but we want you to know that we are prepared and we are going to be taking care of our students, our families, and our staff each day. Here's just a quick rundown of some of the things that you may have heard about and that you may have some questions. The first thing is we are highly recommending that our students and staff wear masks. You can make it this kind. It can be like this. It can even be cute like this. Or some of you guys may want to wear gator, which is what Miss Van and Mr. Brown are probably gonna be wearing. Your choice. We just want you to feel safe and you to feel comfortable. So masks are totally accepted, and if you choose not to, then that's okay as well. Next, one of the things that's changed a lot is we now have water bo bottle filling stations instead of water fountains. We know that water fountains uh, carry lots of germs, so we're encouraging all of our families to send your child with a bottle of water or a water bottle each day and they will be able to go to the fill station and fill their bottles up as needed throughout the day. If you do choose to, we will have these on sale. We sell, we've been selling these for several years, but uh, they're a dollar. But if you will, on your child's water bottle, please make sure that you put their name and their grade, uh, their teacher, so we can get those back to them. Also, one of our Community Business Partners Harvest Missionary Church has donated over uh, 300 of these bottles of water. So if your child were to forget theirs, we're going to have water to make sure that our needs are and your child's needs are being met. Just tell them to tell their teacher. Sanitation is another huge undertaking that's going on in all of our schools. Uh, we have several different items and we'll go through those and talk to you more importantly about those. We've always stressed hygiene, correct hand washing, sanitizing, but this year with all the concerns we're going to do more and our students will experience a greater depth of understanding about their own health and hygiene. All classrooms and all grade levels will be practicing. We do want to let you know that we'll be disinfecting throughout the day. We have a medical grade product called Rejuvenol and the teachers will be able and the custodians will be able to spray this on surfaces and give it a couple of minutes to dry and then you can use that surface again. So we're excited to have an additional piece of the arsenal to help us fight not only COVID-19, but any other germs that our students may come across this year. Uh, you will see some teachers wearing these shields. These shields will help them when they're doing small group instruction, teaching, reading, and things like that. Allow students to not only see the smiles and hear the teacher better, but it will allow them to be able to see their lips when they're making sounds and things during reading. So we know these will be really important. Finally, I want to address a topic that I know is really concerning to a lot of our families. Following our CDC guidelines and the Department of Public Health recommendations, we will not be allowing any visitors in our building. This includes our parents and some of our, and our volunteers or anybody. So to help you understand what we will be doing, we will be having additional staff that are supporting our students, especially in the mornings. Teachers will be out front and they will actually take your child from you uh, and walk them down to their classroom as we start easing, especially our younger students into their classrooms. Uh, we're gonna be very hands-on with this and make sure that you know what's going on and that you understand our procedures. Also, for those of you who are gonna be doing pickup, you will not be able to get out of your car in the afternoon. We will not be allowed to let anyone stand at the doors. Everyone will have to be picked up through the dismissal line. There'll be more information coming about that. 
a regular day we start the doors open at 7 and students are tardy at 7 45 again this year everybody gets free breakfast so we encourage you to come and eat breakfast we won't be eating in the cafeteria we have breakfast rooms down in each hallway where students will be eating with their friends down there we're excited about them being able to have that opportunity I know you've heard a lot about the playground. Our playground's gonna be open and our kids are gonna be able to be outside having fun, not only at their recess time, but other times throughout the day. The only problem is our kids can't play on the equipment right now. That's partially due to the fact that at the beginning of the year, our equipment is metal and we don't allow students to play on it at the beginning of the year because of burns and blisters. So. We'll keep you posted as we get to uh, open the playground more, but we're excited to see you. We've missed our students, families. You can be assured that we're gonna keep doing our best to take care of your child and keep you informed every step of the way. Again, I'm Lori Van, I'm the principal, and if you need to speak with me, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you.